Speaking of communication, did you see Arrival? You know, you are the billion and one person to ask me I if I've seen it. I told them not to ask. Well, no, that's right. <laughs> that's so, 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 no, no, no. So <laughs> I, I was, I was so asked that mm-hmm. question that I said, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. Right. So I went and saw Arrival. And ten, what did you, ten what, days ago? And I was going to tweet about it. I was going to tweet show. You want to be the first to hear my comments? I would about love it. You want to be the, like the first? Yes. I want. I want oh, to yeah, hear so about it. So it's a Arrival. fascinating film. Yeah. That if you haven't seen it, it's uh, Aliens Visit, and they have several uh, spaceships that. A park basically in different locations around the earth and it's not obvious why they came or are they hostile and of course one lands in America and <laughs> America we shoot and then ask questions if you survive the bullet uh, so we're very suspicious of them mm-hmm. and I think the most suspicious countries are the ones who we know <laughs> they're the ones who who we know other countries should be suspicious of us if we showed up on their doorstep, right. I think, I think it's a little bit. There's a mirror held up to us in that regard. But anyhow, so the military's out in full force, mm-hmm. wondering do they have hostile intent or not, and and they send a a linguist and a theoretical physicist to investigate this new life form. And I don't. I'm, I'm not giving much away here to say that. Uh, By the way, I, if you have theories on this thing, you can give away the whole movie. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I, 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 a, a feature of the film and the aliens. Uh, the alien's way of doing business is that time is circular to the alien. It's not linear. To us, time is linear. An event happens before another event. You don't go back to it. You keep moving into the future. We are forever prisoners locked in the present, transitioning between our past and our future. So in Arrival, however, the aliens there, uh, not only is their time circular, but so is their means of communication and their means of of expression. So it's interesting to see what we have to do to wrap ourselves into a circular thinking in order to even have a conversation with them. So, so and now this is a cuz our, our, so our it's, it's an interesting exploration. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Is there any is there actual science to it though? Uh there's some time travel in it only because if your time is circular you come back to where you started and they have to address this in some way. Yeah. So and I, I, I think any sci fi movie that thinks hard about putting I mean, time in it is, is good. Is I mean, the science real is what I'm asking. You know, like, the aliens real? <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's just very childlike. <laughs> uh, so just to be clear, when I tweeted about films in the past uh, I've been. I think I'm. I'm deeply misunderstood yes. when I tweet. I th- people see me as some buzzkill. <laughs> Don't ever invite him to sit next to you. And you know, you shouldn't invite to movies. Uh, people who read the book first. Right. Just, just have them stay rock home, okay? <laughs> because they, uh, they're going to complain no matter what. I mean, how many movies are better than the book? Hardly any. So I don't need you next to me mm-hmm. telling me what was better the than The Shining the book. was better than the book. A couple, you know, and Gone with the Wind arguably was a really good movie, um, even though the book itself was great. Uh, there are a couple of others like that, like Rebecca was an excellent film and a, and a first-rate book. But those are exceptions, as we know. Uh, Wizard of Oz probably came out better than the book. Godfather. Um, sure, sure. So, so, but that, that's we're handpicking them from the thousands of movies, that's... tens of thousands of movies that are out there. So, so when I comment on a film, my goal, whether or not I achieve this, my uh-huh. goal is to connect you a little more deeply to the science that it got right, and to think about the science it might have gotten wrong. And and I'm not nitpicking. There are things that you got to invent just to tell the story. I give it to you. All right, but if you invent something to tell the story, and you could have gotten real science to tell a better story, I'm gonna be all up in your case. <laughs> you tell- should. And I also think that people like, because we don't know science, right? We don't know the science behind it, so people tend to just trust whatever's in the movie trust, and, as and legit I, science. What yeah. I want to do is hold the directors and producers accountable to getting the science right if they can, before they take their leap of storytelling. Right, they, and and I don't think I'm asking very much. If you if you watched a period film from the '50s and someone there was a car parked on the street from 1962, and you were a car expert, you'd have right to you'd cry say foul. something. You'd say <clears throat> something, and people would be proud of you for noticing it. 